Hi guys, today we're making chicken gyros. I'm not pronouncing it right. You have to roll the R. Chicken gyros. All right, the first step for making this is to combine all of the marinade ingredients in a large bowl. And so I'm going to mix my yogurt, some lemon juice, some olive oil, some salt, some ground coriander. This is my first time ever using this seasoning some paprika, some ground cumin, I think that's how you say it. This is also my first time ever using this seasoning. So according to YouTube, you can say cumin, cumin, or cumin. How do you say it? Some cayenne pepper, some cinnamon, some black pepper, some garlic, shout out to Jeannie for my garlic press. My first time actually getting to use it. I guess I did it right. Alright, now that I have everything in the bowl, I'm going to give this a good mix. I'm actually going to add a little more of the Greek yogurt. Um, I was only going to do about half of the recipe, but I just realized that I did half of the yogurt, but I did the full amount of the other ingredients. So I'm going to add the other yogurt. All right, so the next step is to take my chicken and put on this cutting board. I'm using three pieces. And I'm gonna take some plastic. Gotta wash my hands, I should've used my left hand. I'll be right back. So I'm gonna take some plastic and put over the chicken. Cover this. And I'm gonna use my rolling pin to beat this chicken down because I need it to be thin. Yvette, are you proud of me for using my rolling pin? <laughs> All right, so it looks thin enough. All right, so the next step is to take my chicken and mix it into the marinade. So uh, let's do one piece at a time. this one in. It's hidden in there. Marinade is thick. All right. So the chicken is in here, it's covered. I'm gonna wash my hands, cover this bowl with plastic and put this in the refrigerator for about one hour. All right, so the next step is to work on this sauce that I have no idea how to pronounce. Oh, I'll Google it. Um, or by the time I made this video, I probably already did. Anyway, so I'm gonna shred this cucumber, which is an English cucumber, my first time ever cooking with one of these. So let's open it and get to shredding. Gotta wash it. Cut the ends off. And now time to shred. Phew, finished. So I'm gonna get as much of this off as I can without cutting my fingers. Right. 
and now I have to get rid of the juice some of the juice so I'm going to put all of this in paper towel and squeeze it out so before I squeeze it out I'm going to put it through the strainer because I know that'll help get rid of a lot all right so now I'm going to put it in the paper towel actually I'm going to put it in the paper towel to drain the rest of the water dump this out and let's hope the paper towel is not stuck to the cucumber it's not Woohoo! I'm not gonna try to get that off because I don't want to eat paper towel all right so here's my cucumber post squeezing I'm gonna wash my hands and then on to the next step all right so to make this sauce I need some Greek yogurt I need some garlic. Shout out to Sharon for telling me about this. Or Sharona, as I call her. I need some lemon juice. I need some parsley. Instead of getting fresh parsley, I'm just gonna use my flakes. I also need some dill, so I'm gonna sit this to the side for a second and chop this up. So I've cooked with fresh dill before but I don't remember if you only use the leaves or if you can use all of it so I'm just gonna pop off some of the top just in case and I'll look this up and by the time I make the video I'll know and I'll tell you so <laughs> if I'm doing it wrong but you decide to make this you could do it right and I won't toss this away until after I know because if I can still use the other parts of it, then of course I will. So let's chop this up. So I looked it up and I could have used the stem that I had. If I had a larger bunch or bundle of dill and it had the thick ends, I wouldn't use that part, but I can use the thin parts. All right, so I only need two tablespoons of dill, so let's see how much I have. Alright, so I have a little less than two tablespoons, but that's okay. The next thing to add is a little salt and pepper to taste, and I'm only going to add a little. I found that this um, kosher salt it's a little it seems to be stronger than the um the other that i use so i'm gonna put just a little bit in it and some pepper. and now i'm gonna mix this together well all right so i'm gonna sit this in the refrigerator while i finish the meat all right so this next step is not a part of the recipe i missed um, the next step is not a part of the recipe, but I'm going to cut my chicken in half because I don't have a lot and I want it to stack well. And I probably should have done this in the beginning. So I'm going to cut all of my pieces in half. gonna wash my hands so I didn't realize that I wasn't recording but during this step I took a wooden skewer put it through my onion and then I layered the chicken um, crosswise so I laid one left to right and then one up and down left to right up and down you'll understand when you see the picture going in So it's been an hour and a half, and I think we're done.
looking kind of crispy there. Using my fancy meat thermometer. So we're definitely finished. I'm going to let this cool for about 10 minutes as I cut my tomatoes. All right, so now that it's cooked, I'm going to shave this on the side if I can. This side. Smells really good. I'm going to cut this up into small pieces. See, that should be enough for one sandwich. But just in case, let's cut a little more. All right. Cut the onions down too. All right, time to assemble. All right, so let's put this together. I'm going to use some pita bread, and then I'm going to put the chicken on here. Because I always overstuff. I'm going to take some of the onion that was cooked in it and put on here. And I'm going to take some of my tomatoes that I put on and some tzatziki sauce. I looked it up. And I'm going to put some of this on here. And now it's ready to be folded and most importantly, eaten. All right, it's time for my favorite part, just eating. Of course, I overstuffed it because I always do. Let's take a bite into my gyro, gyro, gyro. I was watching a YouTube video on how to pronounce it and one of the guys, um, he said, that's the only way we will accept it, gyro. So anyway, let's bite into it. I like it. It's good. Not a big fan of the tzatziki sauce, but I mean, it's edible for sure. Um, and the meat, I... Probably could have cooked it. It's not dry, um, but it is a little, I don't even want to say overcooked, um, but I didn't have to cook it as long. So the next time, because my meat was so thin, I probably don't even have to do it for an hour and a half, maybe an hour and then check it after that. But anyway, it's good. So I'm going to finish eating this one, probably have a second one, um, and I'll see you guys in the next video.